I'm Will Daimon. No, I'm not. I'm taking. He just has to update it though. Over there, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm totally not Death Expert, but I am SRM White Beast. Get Tiggy here. And we're finally getting underway. Finally getting some good units. We got uh, Miller 2B versus Suna. Suna <laughs> going with, uh, with Orie as always. Miller going with Lene. Suna with those, with those hot divine thrusts to start. Yeah, it's a pretty hard move to contest, so it's, it's a pretty good option. It, it's a very good move. Got some of that corner pressure. Dagger 2A, but Miller comes out with, uh, wouldn't you know, a 2B. <laughs> Is his namesake. <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's the map. Back in the corner, it does have Vorpal. Oh! That run up. That's something that Miller does a lot. He'll just run at you and wait for the 1 AD and, and hit you with Assault JC. Oh, why did I miss? Maybe the B person would have hit behind her? Maybe. Uh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was good as soon as to use the uh, Persona to get out of the way. Ooh, nice force mark. Using that force function, uh, probably the force function OS uh, gets him out of dodge with the 6B, which is cheap. <laughs> oh, nice roll here. Hot 3.7. Quick block. Real holding fast to the defense right now. Oh, dodge kick over to 2C. Back in the corner, Kuga. Nice. Okay. Sitting with the answer of his own with the CS. He was trapped in the corner, though. He doesn't drop this, that should be the game. And oh, as I say that, <laughs> oh. that was very unfortunate. That was. <laughs> yeah, getting started with the commentator first is uh, quite early. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, warming them up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pretty quick couple games, a uh, uh, couple rounds for Miller, uh, <laughs> using that dive kick very well. Oh yeah. So this is the corner fight also. Suna will be out of the tournament if he loses this match. Miller's off to another good start. Right off the bat, 99 seconds. Tried it that time, good block for Suna. Another good force function for Miller there. Ooh, he checks him out to the throw break. Again with the dive. It's been hit up pretty well. Take okay, him right back to the corner. So we never should have left. And use the concentration to get Vorpal at the last second. So something I noticed about players in general now, is, at least in the US, is that a lot of people are more conscious of the Vorpal cycle. So yeah. they'll like cut combo short or try to kill a throw at the last second and try to get Vorpal or assault, things like that. Yeah. So I think that's pretty good people are more conscious of it. For sure. See, like that. Yeah, even, even there. <laughs> I don't know if that one was an intentional drop, per se, but uh, he definitely... Oh. That sucks. He definitely ran right out of the 2-2-C. Two yeah. Oh, very fortunate trade. Nice to be Assault J.A. Using that CS. He's gonna get a life lead here. Nice throw. It's actually pretty hard to hit throws on Miller. Oh, oh, oh. The he, was, he was ready for the guard throw. He was. It's a good option because uh, Suna had Vorpal, but... Oh. That was a good freebie, but he didn't quite convert. Yeah, probably not ready. Uh, probably doing the OS. Okay. Time to life here. Good block to Miller. Oh, plus frames. Oh, oh big whiff. that was scary whiff. That was so scary. scary. Oh, but of course, Divine Thrust takes it. When in doubt, thrust it out. <laughs> yes, it is staying alive because of it. Did <laughs> the stagger step in a throw? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> right in her face. So using some of that meter, still got 100 left, and he's got Vorpal. Soon a grid broken. 
Oh, that was so far. Yeah, that was sick. He didn't have meter to do more though, unfortunately. And he's not holding the buttons to attack. This is really scary. Got that Vorpal and 200 meter. Uses the CS. Can you pressure? Yeah, this more is the pressure. first for Simmon. This is really low. Yeah. Oh, walks right into the VO. This is doable now. Yes. That was so risky. Oh. That was a, that was a rough spot for Cena. Yeah. He did pretty well, though. Yeah, it was going to be really hard uh, at the end of that because he did get caught midair uh, by the EX Guga, uh -huh. which meant that he was opening himself up to him unblockable. So it was good of him to at least try to get out of that with the, the air super, but uh, didn't quite come out in time. But uh, that was Losers, quarters. I believe it's Quarters. Yeah, we're uh, doing top six here. Um, so Miller moves on to Losers semifinals. And... Okay. All right. Uh, coming up next, we have uh, Sumerian versus uh, Sonic Spear. This is also in Losers. Um, after that, we'll have Winner's Finals, which is uh, me, White Beast, uh, versus Jushichi. So I'll be hopping off after this one. Um, and then I believe we'll be doing winner's finals uh, and then doing the typical bracket, uh, uh, loser's semis, loser's finals, all the way back up to grand finals. Um. Okay, so uh, Sonic Spear and Selmerion, they are here from uh, Columbus. Everybody, they are so good. <laughs> so back in so Union, uh I played Vitista, and it was a new game. <laughs> yeah. Really, really, really cute. <laughs> um, so, just to go over really, really quickly, I pretty much won every local tournament for a while. <laughs> so, just, come, just um, to set the record straight, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so, around 2016, June, July, that's when I stopped uh, winning because mm. everybody had leveled up so much. Mm. I right, was getting the okay for the stream. See, so yeah, Jushisi, he got away from me. He ran away. So mm. even before units came out, everybody was substantially so much better. So I just wanted to say I'm proud of everybody in Columbus that still plays. Yeah. Everybody is so strong now. Yeah, you guys have a lot of good players. Yeah. Like, and yeah, especially Jushisi. I'm scared. I don't want to have to fight him. I was really hoping that Miller was going to make it to winners finals, but <laughs> it's not the case. <laughs> Okay, so Mika versus Chaos. I'm going to just go ahead and assume that this is his favor because of the way the frame data works out and because of his uh, range superiority when he has Ozzy out. But here's the thing. Mika gets in, not like that. But when she gets in <laughs> and she actually is able to apply pressure, it doesn't matter if, what Chaos has done before that. It's really hard for him on defense to deal with her off her, her, her pressure. Yeah, not, not sure what happened there. Got hit by the, the, uh, the hopping throw, which is a, a really good starter for her. Yeah. Uh, even even though he CS into it, uh, maybe tried to interrupt it. I just don't think Samaria was ready for it. <laughs> that was actually that was actually a really good option to jump because it's hard to block that. It really is, yeah. Oh. Nice shield against the jumpy. Great, great shield gets the punish. Uh, ends the round with 200 meter left, so he's gonna have uh, uh, a good time this round. It's really pretty. So yeah, Mika had to take a lot of risk in the mid range. As you saw that he was uh, throwing out the dash B. So I think it's 8 frame. Really, really fast. It's a low that travels. It's really good move. Probably one of her best moves. But Simlerion is dealing with her very well right now. It's looking very strong. Yeah, he's having just enough patience to not get hit by it. Um, and then, you know, deal with the following mix up. Now he's stuck in the corner though. This is where Mika can be really, really scary. Yeah, this is awful. Like I said, all that work he did before, oh, that was that was very unfortunate. Yeah, he must have missed the cancel even though on that uh, air uh, piece can. Right. Tries to close it with the throw. Good block. Oh, uh, with throw is plus on block. <laughs> Oh, wow. Try to do some sort of, uh, like some sort of, um, throw tech trap. Yeah, but just up back and out of it. Yeah, there's, that's B, that should be the round. Oh, 
Oh no, not, not quite enough. Almost. Oh. Catches the back dash. See, as long as we were staying alive, that was a very close round. Mm. Oh, he's just using that to get right in. <laughs> not a bad idea at all. Couple of throws now, both attacked by Sonic's here. Oh, nice late hands are trying to catch those buttons. Yeah, so if he does a dash B, it does a late tornado like that, that's a frame trap. So, yeah, he has, um, Similarion has to respect that pretty much. Like, the only thing you can really feasibly do is, uh, infinite worth, but I don't think it's, that's hate a, to make a plan, it's not worth it. <laughs> that's scary. Yeah, it's not worth it. Oh. Back down. That was really good damage. Really, looking really good for Cinderella. Yeah. Oh. So he takes that first game pretty convincingly. Cross up low. So something I learned recently about Chaos with his frame data is that any reverse beat into any Ozzy special is plus. So yeah. It's pretty rough for, for a character like Mika to deal with something like that. Yeah, she she can get started on offense like so well, but like just getting once she has to get started first, and that's the hard part. Right. Yeah, that was a really really ballsy dash up by Samaria. Not looking too bad right now because like he has the screen advantage right now. So. Uh, yeah, he did just win purple. This is gonna be a heck of a time for Sonic here trying to get back in. Oh, he killed Ozzy <laughs> and got him on the way down. That was really funny. Oh, nice oh, take. The run. round is over. Really? Oh. oh, never mind. He never dropped that. That was pretty bad positioning, I guess. Because that should hit my H3 Dynamic before. He would have had to adjust for the corner with the, uh, with the starter there. But anyway, we're uh, he still has pressure going on right now. Oh, catch the back dash, and that's going to be the round. Sonic's are getting on the board in the second game. Yeah, anytime Mika has a 100 meter in Whirlpool and she hits you with that, that's 5k. That, oh, that's, yeah. I didn't know it was that much. Yes, it's a lot. Oh, there's the overhead 6 -C. That was so sick. <laughs> We're really only at 80 seconds in uh, Sumerian down to half-life. Yeah, Mika does that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Mika ball. Another really good thing Mika has is a run for tornado, as you just saw, hit him out of the air. It's really good at catching up backs from a pretty considerable distance because she has a uh, did the fastest, third fastest run speed in the game. I think it's Seth Lenny and then Mika, so she okay. can catch up backs from a pretty good distance. So you have to be really careful if she has the resources to uh, convert off of that. Why is she slower than Seth? I don't she know. She needs it. <laughs> she actually needs it. He does it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, nice 5 VB there from uh, Sonic here. Oh, and gets the resize switch back into the corner. Nice counter flip for Silmary on there. Just misses. Oh, just, just a little out of place. Uh, back yeah, so, so we're still going on. Sorry, though. So. Yeah. Sonic here because I'm on top of the screen for him. Oh. That's that's actually plus. Okay. Yeah, if he does the B tornado like that correctly, it's actually plus. Ooh. I don't think that was what he wanted. Probably uh if he wanted two on four C, possibly beast cannon as well. Okay, I was like two and four C? I hope I hope that wouldn't reach that far. That'd be it crazy does. if it did. Yeah, it reached that far, oh yeah. Like, it's not in ball or anything, but it does hop over suddenly. It would have caught him right there, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, he has Warpool again, so yep, there it is. There it is. Salt Gut B. Yeah, it's a really strong mix-up for all the characters that have it. And now, after losing the first game, Sonic Spear is on match point. Killing Ozzy. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's a pretty good starter. We're gonna go to the corner now. Wow. Wow. So he stayed back to try to catch the tech board, and Samarian so just pulled the trigger. I'm surprised it didn't uh, hit the the five C. I think it was either two C or five C. It looked pretty similar to me, but it just didn't hit. And now we're in this situation. Oh, TRM. Nice 
Okay, it was a full... Uh, that was a counter, bro. It, it was. Uh, and now these 12 blocks of grid are going to mean almost nothing. Nice shield. Oh, make me a liar. This is still doable, but really, really tough. Yeah. He's going to need to win every purple cycle. He's going to need to win purple to get that damage. Oh, that's, uh, that's it. Oh. I mean, range is scary against this character. Yeah. Dash B is a monster. That, it really is. <laughs> it really is. Dash B into XD. That's, that's, that's a combo that I'm scared of. All right. I, I think I got to hop off and play. Okay. All right. I'll let you do your here real quick. Good luck. Uh, what's your name? Okay. So, uh, Tiggy or Tiggy? It's a nice to meet you. You too. I've, pl I've played some of this. I, I'm a Lin main. Okay. Uh, when did you start playing uh, Under Night? Uh, it's been like three years ago. Okay. Although, although I don't play it much, but I do like the game. Good, good. Yeah, it really picked up traction after being announced for EVO, which is awesome. <laughs> really awesome. Man, we're going to get more people to play this. <laughs> Let's go. and yeah. yeah, next Saturday, I think, I don't know when on Saturday is finals in, in Undernight. I saw the schedule yesterday, but I don't remember. I do not remember. I'll be honest. I, don't I know remember. Fighters is on Saturday, so is Samurai Showdown. And I forget which is there. It's not Soul Calibur. That's on Friday. Mm -hmm. I do like how they had the final spread out across all the games and across the whole weekend. I think it's neat. Yeah, yeah, they saved Smash for last, the main event. Yeah, it had the most entrance. Awesome. Let's we'll see how that's going to go down. Yeah. But yeah, unbelievable. Under Knight's in there for the first time ever in EVO? Uh, should be at least the second that I remember. Because I know Uniel was in uh, EVO. I want to say it's the either the second or the third time it's been in Evo. Yeah. Back when I got this for the first for the PS3, the game was kind of unbalanced. Like Gordu Merkava were like the top two dogs in that game. Yeah. It's, it's but thanks to this Arc System French bread, they've at least balanced the game. They gave most. Of the, I heard they gave most of the characters buffs. Oh yeah. I know Lynn, Lynn my, my main character I play has got a few nerfs that I've been able to tell. Mm -hmm. Like most, some of our combos can't go on anymore. Yeah, I don't really know too much about her probation, but she has really good routes now. She has really good damage too. I st still enjoy the rush down. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. And She's, hot, hmm? I'm sorry. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I, I play a little hide, and yet I find him to be kind of hard to use for a main character. That's because he is hard, my friend. He, he struggles. Not even going to front. He struggles in this game. It, <laughs> but thank you, though. Thank you. This, yeah, this was a Jushichi order, sorry. Hello, I'm Silmarion. And I'm you, you just saw me lose on stream, and now I'm here. <laughs> All right, so we are going to have uh, winner's finals here, yeah? Yes. This is going to be uh, White Beast versus Jushichi. Um, this, is a, this is a classic fighting game matchup. You know, you got Batista versus Akatsuki, the ultra long range character versus the ultra short range character. And they both excel at their ranges. Yeah, um, I know that these two have played in tournament before, and uh, they are they are they are both quite good players. I have no idea how this is going to go, no idea at all. I think I think Tushishi kind of likes fighting Batista, likes fighting him more than Hilda. I think. I can um, see that. You just gotta patiently walk people into the corner. That is something Tushishi loves doing in every fight game. It's just walking people down. We're gonna see a lot of that here, I think. Remember they are, oh, uh, Jushichi has left the, here he is. Yes. Wait, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why I said Jushichi that. I'm not just came in and asked if, if they were good to go, and 
uh, Tiggy, who, as <laughs> mentioned, is not running the stream, was like, oh, yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Sorry, I'm running on maybe one hour of sleep. Hey, that's all good. <laughs> yeah, because you work nights, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably, you're pretty dead right now. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Well, thank you for uh, coming and commenting. I had, I had to come out. I had yeah, to come dude. out. Heck yeah. Right, here we go. Winner's right. finals. What's the round opener? Everybody Nothing. just backs off. <laughs> Chill <laughs> good, out. Good choice for both players. Well, it makes sense, right? Because White Beast, I think, has the range advantage at the start of the thing. Um, and Jishiji doesn't want to risk, like, just dash blocking on someone stupid. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to see some fireball fifties here. Yeah. Okay. Opens up 6-6-C. Six, six, that was a good one. Okay. White Beast totally happy to not press the advantage here. Ooh, it gets opened up by Tatsu. There's trouble. Alright, what's the, what's the play? Just charge? Yeah, I like that. Oh my god, just wait! <laughs> Holy cow. Alright, so, Tiggy, you have been known to play Matista a couple times in your life. What, um, what do you do on Wake Up versus Akashi? Pray. Okay. Pachi. <laughs> yeah, good. The best option, honestly, at least if he has Verbal, is to just block. You can go ahead and flash if you want to, but if he's ready for it, you're not getting away with it. So you're going to have to block it out in most cases. So Jishiji pretty happy to take this. Uh, oh my god, okay, survives that. Pretty happy to take this at his leisure here. He's got 25 seconds to work with in most of his life bar. Uh, Batista's combos go a little bit long, so Jishiji is totally happy to play like super defensive and just hope he can time her out. Yeah, it's going to be pretty rough to frame to come back. Now, ooh, okay, forces the issue, tries to get in. Some uh, positive trades here. I feel like any trade that Jishichi can get versus White Beast is going to be in Jishichi's favor unless it leads to like a massive combo for White Beast. Because every every down that Jishichi can get is a chance to run it. Yeah, I don't think chance to pull it down. Gonna get the air throw side split. Frame kill, okay. I like that setup. Do, uh, just uh, frame kill into ADP. Yeah, say, yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever you're doing, please stop. <laughs> Ooh, big throw setup. What's the Oki? Just press me. I'm wrong with that. Yeah. Wonder what uh, White Beast was trying to do there. I couldn't tell you. Who can say? Yeah. Lost yeah. to history. So this, this matchup is one of those cases where you have a Tis that has advantage, but when you consider what the player goes through on defense and trying not to make mistakes in neutral, it's pretty detrimental mentally. Sure, yeah. Surround oh my god, Tatsu. Who cares? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta do it. You gotta make a statement. Okay, some uh, unfortunate green shields here for Shishi, but it's not enough to stop him from winning the cycle here. Yeah, he's gonna have to do a lot of damage. Fun. I like the the way he opened this game, where he just waited to get rid and then uh, forced his turn with a fireball CS. Um, not, oh, oh my god, he might. Oh, not quite. He was so close to winning that cycle. <laughs> Gonna have to just go back to this. All right, so now uh, Batista is in a bad spot to win the next cycle. So all, ooh, that shield helped a lot. Okay. So Shuji has a turn to force here. He uses it to full effect. This is how it's gonna get a big old combo. That, that one unfortunate in play in neutral ended up in this one. It's mid rough. Anyway, White Beast is keeping his composure. So this is quite life lead. Yeah, this is uh, pretty okay. This might be enough. Blocks the overhead. Oh my god, that wow. would punish. That's crazy. So scary, both players just standing right next to each other. Okay, big DP, can't get anything off of it. You're too far for a 5 to get up there. I wonder if he didn't have been able to convert off that if Batista was counter -hit. And that is Most it. Likely. Yeah, Jishichi just uh, times him out. This is exactly the game plan we expected to see. White Beast not getting a lot of his confirmed. Even in the last round when he hit his dash C, he could have uh, used force function. But he opted for the 5A confirm because it would have been probably a better route. White Beast also not getting a lot off of knockdowns here. Yeah. You know, like this situation, obviously you're not going to by design. But we'll see if uh, White Beast can get like a real mix up here and whether he's going to play kind of, kind of spooked. Okay, so that the three fragmental move he did, you have one frame to do that. Oh my god, it's really hard. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. So he definitely has the execution to play this character. Yeah, like I said, the mental strain is, is real. 
White Beast plays uh, Batista in this game, obviously, but he also plays a very technical Vilia in Excerpt. Okay. And you can definitely see that work ethic and that ability here. And blocks Tatsu. Jishichi, uh, very low on life here. White Beast's uh, zoning has been so much more effective this round than it has been the previous ones. So White Beast still in it here, not uh, not looking to go down 2-0. That was a very good round for White Beast. Can you, uh, do you have any, do you have any sense of like how White Beast is varying up his projectiles to make that, uh, to make that zoning more effective? Um, honestly, not really, because he's a different breed of player than me, obviously. He still plays the character. I feel like though, in some situations, that, uh, Dushishi has just been a little impatient. Like right there, yeah. that was just a game winner. That was what he was going to have to do it. That was so. That was perfect timing. But I think his uh, fragmental placement is the big key. That's the real crux of this matchup. So White Beast would really like to win Normal here. Probably isn't going to be able to. No, unfortunately, it goes to Dushishi, who kind of spends it on nothing in particular. So that's not a huge loss for White Beast. This is winner's final, so even if he does lose this game, he can use this to uh, gain information if he plays himself. Absolutely. Um, and when you play a character like Batista, you got it down, right? Okay. Big damage. So, uh, Jishiji with a life lead for the first time in this round. White Beast is going to have to get a lot of chip damage, or, oh my gosh, this is so close. Uh, White Beast with a slight life advantage. They're fighting over chip damage right now. And that's going to waste about a second and a half. White Beast with another full oh, meter here. Wow, the game is it. over. Shiji finds one perfect. Oh my god, goes for the veil off in the last second. That's scary. That was awesome. What a still. Oh my gosh, tragic turn for White Beast. Yeah, that's rough. I was thinking, like, if he gets hit by a fireball, it's, he's not coming back from that. She, she's laughing about it a little bit, so is White Beast. What's the round start? Oh, there's okay, so there's the 5C. So, uh, Jishichi respected that in their first game, and uh, nothing came of it. So I think maybe Jishichi was thinking, okay, he's not going to expect it this time. But 5C is such a safe button to just throw out. Oh, that was so oh, no! no. Both of those exchanges right there were so good for White Beast, and neither one came to fruition. So with the um, force function from Kasi, that's the counter hit, counter hit when he lands. If I recall, that was the first overhead we've seen out of White Beast. Oh my gosh, it converts off that random trade. Holy cats. There is so much going right for White Beast, but he's just not getting his conversions. He's got to convert it into three wins in a row here. We'll see if he can do it. And even though that all that's been happening, look at his life. Look at yeah. his meter. It's <laughs> sometimes fighting games are crazy like that. 50 seconds off the clock there, and Batista wasn't even at half out. That's uh, that's zoning. Oh my god, amazing shield on the high jump B. Batista or uh, White Beast gets a full version of it. Pretty good combo there. 27. Just do it. You should shoot out. That's the first successful DP we've seen from either player this time. Uh, not counting anti-air DPs, right? Reversal DPs. Okay, zoning with 5C. Good stuff, good shields from White Beast here. Gonna shield that. Nope, just jump over it. Yeah, I like that. Jump over it, use the Stein to gain frame advantage. Big punish here for White Beast on that uh, attempt to parry. I like that. The ADP shields jump A, so uh, doesn't get a full punish there, but does uh, does make Jishiji give up his turn. And as you say that, <laughs> yeah, yeah four point to Tatsu. Boy, that was a scary situation. White Beast chose not to challenge it directly; just chose to see what was going on and deal with the mix up. Oh my God! The was hit from the Stein. He doesn't have to touch the game. Should be. Yeah. Totally. Okay. I'm glad that. Jushichi didn't fall out of that super. I thought he I, was. I have seen White Beast um, drop that route uh, on me, actually. I, and I, I'm glad that Akatsuki doesn't seem to have the same hitbox issues. Yeah, I actually thought he was going to flip out because he was really high up. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. <laughs> Good thing he didn't. So uh, White Beast actually getting on the board now. Yep. White Beast on. Oh my god, what a, wow. what a round start. <laughs> Typical stuff. Welcome to Other Night. Okay, frame advantage, just staggering. Looking for something. Shishi not biting on anything. Totally happy to just sit and win the grid war. Finds an in with Tatsu CS. I love it. Too far for the 
Tires with bump and stagger low. Knockdown into a full pressure. Goes for it. That may have been a safe jump. I'm not sure if it works on how the flash kick, but White Beast was not willing to find out. Ooh, a couple of bad shields from Jushichi, and all of a sudden White Beast is in a tremendously good spot to win the cycle. Jushichi just giving it up. We'll see what uh, White Beast can make happen here. He finds a DP, good stuff. Reset to full screen with 40 seconds on the clock. White Beast is gonna have to press some offense buttons. Oh, nice block, block on, on uh, Jushichi's part there. That's a lot of his experience fighting that character to be able to block that. And that was really good pressure from him too, but the time was just too low. Yeah, it was super good. Jushichi uh, pulling it out with some time and blocks here. One round here on uh, Winner's Finals point. White Beast looking good right here though. Now White Beast is going to have to make something happen off those random stuns. I don't think he's really opened Shishi up at all this entire set in that. Okay, a modest 900 damage off that uh, super, wow, amazing shield on the early jump B uh, off the side there. It's a full punish. So I think it'll, when Jushichi did 2-2-C, two, two White Beast could have done charge up down C and won that, but he already had to be holding up in that situation, and I'm pretty sure he wasn't. Oh, it's not I, so. Okay. And all the times I've played Batista, I've only uh, countered Super in air to air one time. It's really hard. But uh, Jushichi's uh, low on life right now. Let's see yep. if he can actually come back here. So White Beast with a Vorpal Cycle here. The next 10 seconds or so are going to be really, really tough for Jushichi. Oh my gosh, wow. I, I got counter hit on something. I wonder what that was. Maybe 60? All right, White Beast on the board. Not dead out of winners just yet. He's doing really well. Yeah, amazing comebacks here. Wow, starts with the uh, laser just to force the issue. Oh my gosh, the 2C safe. Doesn't even safe jump, just safes the DP. Huh. So unfortunate. That's really interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what Jushichi's thinking about that interaction. <laughs> Wins the Vorpal Cycle. We'll see how he tries to force his turn here. Looking for Oh, wow. finds the Tatsu. Good stuff off the anti-air. Oh my gosh, what a really scary, scary shield. Very yeah. Scary. Every time I see a naked shield like that, I'm just like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> There's a parallel universe not too far from here where White Beast lost the game because of that. Switch TOS. You can't. I can't be certain so it's like that. Yep. <laughs> All right, ooh, drops the combo, fades a little bit too far back. Blown up with the uh, CS there. And White Beast in a really bad position. 40 seconds on the clock, gonna have to win some uh, exchanges here wow. and have to never ever get hit. So uh, White Beast surely looking forward to this uphill battle, which he immediately trips and falls down. Well, that I was, uh, sorry? I was gonna say that combo that uh, Jushishi did, that was optimal damage with yeah. what resources he had. That was very impressive, and it still didn't kill. That was super, super good. Um, Jushichi, uh, a combo theorist for Akatsuki. I know for a fact that Jushichi has uh, developed some combos for this character. Oh, and look, we got a nice still in which of us. Um, <laughs> Jushichi has developed some combos for his character Akatsuki that even like high-level Japanese players are using now. So um, it's it's all it's all thanks to him. Uh, if you ever wanted to see top-tier Akatsuki combo routing, you've come to the right place. Twitch.tv slash Matchstick Melee. So we are going to have uh, winners, or excuse me, loser semis coming up, which I believe will be uh, Sonic Spear versus Miller. Okay. Miller, obviously, an out-of-towner from Michigan. Sonic Spear, a local. And this is going to be a, in contrast to what we saw here, a war of the short-range characters. Yes. This is going to be, this is going to be uh, Mika, who is a close-range, uh, nimble grappler kind of character, um, half grappler really. And versus Line, who is a rushdown character with uh, double jumps, uh, quick overheads, uh, scary pressure, all kinds of frame advantage nonsense. It'll be fun to see. Oh, yeah. So you can correct me if I'm wrong in this, Simerion. Um, these two characters are among the fastest in the game as far as their run ground speed goes. I struggle to think of anyone faster. Maybe Seth? Yes. Oh, wow. We're still uh, we're still stuck here. Oh, no. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing kind of the... Kind of the halfway had to do it to impose, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Wow, so, you, you never get to see this background. Yeah, this is actually, actually really this cool. is pretty nice. Damn. Good job, Matchstick. Yeah, um, I forget who told me. I think it was Sonic Spear, but um, 
first is Seth, second is Lene, and then third is Mika. Yeah, okay. I thought Mika was actually the fastest for a while. She feels so fast. Yeah, it's I, crazy. I think part of it is just like the the speed boost she gets off of her running attacks, you know? Mm -hmm. It just feels like she's always in your face whenever she wants. <laughs> Mika Bonk. Yeah, Mika Bonk. XD, hit that XD, dude. White Beast earlier, he said, uh, Dash B into XD. I lost it. Dash B. That's awesome. Okay. Here we are. Hello. Woo. We're back. We are, we are back. And, you know, frankly, stream, better than ever. Look at this guy. Look at how, look at how much better he is than moments before. Yeah. <laughs> we're all in the same pose. We're always getting better. We're always improving here in the Columbus yes. FTC. Oh, uh, we're, we're getting in here. This is a little. Uh, it, uh. Here we are. That's us. I also want to point out this really awesome drawing back here. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but uh, they did a great job. Oh, oh. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is our streamer, Matchstick. Oh, no. So sweet. So uh, while, while we've got you, uh, feel free to subscribe to, uh, to Matchstick Melee on, on, on Twitch here. You'll get notifications of all kinds of Columbus FTC events. You'll get some custom emotes, which will come up in the bottom left, uh, bottom left of the of the of the stream here um and uh yeah support support local streamers you know fighting games are a bottom up grassroots thing you know Indeed. um and we wouldn't be able to do the kinds of things that we do if not for people like matchstick if not for people like soul who's also streaming today um they make events like this possible you know so Throw 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 a couple bucks toward your toward your local streamer, even if that's not matchstick, you know? Just get out there, support the scene. Yes. And that's been um, after school specials with Silmarion, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we're we're a little stalled at the moment, I suspect, because both Sonic Spear and Miller are playing Vampire Savior, probably. Um, I know that we had some we had some issues where they were needed for vampire during uni matches earlier, so. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, while while that's going on, how did you feel about your uh, how did you feel about your tournament set today? Your uh, your tournament performance. Um, really good. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. I don't think I played at my best, but I did way better than I should have. Sure. Because yeah. I haven't been playing at all, especially on an hour of sleep, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you um Are you gonna be able to make it to Evo this year? Ah, that's uh, unfortunate. Unfortunately not. Yeah. I requested the correct weekend off but I did it Sunday and not starting Thursday or Friday oh so no. okay uh, that's unfortunate another freeze frame Hi -ya. oh yeah <laughs> yeah we got a uh, Kung Fu Master Tiggy on the stream here and I'm, just, I'm watching <laughs> very patiently and interestingly I'm doing a uh, Akatsuki 6B yeah and that's what the are chain those shift. that's the chain shift yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah uh, actually I was uh, talking about uh, Vitissa's options on wake up earlier against Sakatsuki. Yeah. If he has Whirlpool. Yeah. So one of the things that Juchishi did to me back in Union, he did 6B on my wake up and he had chain shift. Something I didn't know is that he could chain shift on whiff with that move. Mm. And I flash kicked and he blocked. How did you feel when that happened to you? Okay, okay, sounds good. We have confirmation that the issue is that uh, Miller, and, Miller and Sonic Spear are finishing up Vampire here. They're both excellent players. Um, I think they, do they both play Fish? I think so. Fish mirrors, oh my gosh. Um, so, you know, they're, they're both players that you would expect to go like out of region and do pretty well, like even make top eight. Mm -hmm. So it's not surprising that they're, uh, that they're holding, holding up this other game here. Um, not, the first, uh, not the first stoppage, unfortunately, that we've had today. That's that's streaming, right? Streaming is a bone. <laughs> Yo ah. Yo ah. <laughs> I think everything's running pretty good though. Yeah. Oh, Vampire yeah. is just a fast game, so I suspect we won't be here too much longer. Shout outs to our venue, Coffee Underground. So this is a this is a, a, a an underground coffee shop in the basement of a church on yes. Indianola Avenue in Columbus, Ohio. If you get the chance uh, to stop in Columbus and you're looking for a coffee shop. It's a great space. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know if we've uh, had the opportunity to put the rest of the venue on stage. Probably not. But it's a big open space. Um, uh, there's a ton of like um, tables everywhere. Uh, there's a wall of board games, um, sitting area for like if you just want to read or if you're studying with your friends, stuff like that. Um, and of course, uh, a coffee shop run by um, this awesome, this awesome person named Aaron, who um, 
is super friendly towards the fighting game community here in Columbus. Um, she was really looking forward today. She, she told me earlier that this is like her favorite day of the year. Nice. So, yeah. Awesome. So uh, friendly atmosphere. Um, it's not too loud either, despite being in a concrete basement. They've got they've got sound dampening stuff all over the place. Um, yeah, strongly recommend it. Good mood lighting. What more can you want out of a coffee shop? I don't know. Yeah. It's, I really like this venue. I think it's my third time being here, and it's I love this venue. It's neat. Yeah, yeah. We run these. Um, Oh man, like uh, twice a year or so. Um, I think Not optimistically that. we'd run them like three times a year, maybe once a quarter. But that's that's proven difficult, just you know, with how hard it is to schedule anything. Right. Um, but this, I would say, is Columbus's like biggest local that we run, and mm -hmm. obviously we have players coming in from Michigan, from Northeast Ohio, from other states, uh, all coming here to play these uh, excellent games. We got uh, Eli on stage, just kicking it, chilling. Having a good time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, do we have anyone in the chat right now, Matchstick? Thinking we could probably interact with them until we get started. I appreciate it. I'm mesmerized by these triangles. It's almost like they're watching me. <laughs> Actually, you know what this reminds me of is... um. Was the the ah shoot like the little the little square things that you'd hold in your hands and you'd like flip them open and close like yeah, the other yeah, ways yeah, yeah. and then you'd have to they they were for, they were for fortune telling but I can't what were those called uh, yeah we can see yeah. that we can see the stream chat now hi hey. stream if you can hear us and you want to interact with two cool people you can do that now you can also cheer to be number one yeah uh, <laughs> shoot shoot match took a little money you know what's the worst that could happen. He embezzles it? No, it's his. You can't embezzle money you already have. There we are. Hi. We're back. This is us. All of us. Nobody's talking. I see how it is. <laughs> I see how it is. This is going to come up in the VODs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well. Yeah. Doing Nobody wants to talk to Silmarion and Tiggy. Oh, hello to cool. Hello, hello, I that guy. How are you doing? Welcome to uh, welcome to our stream. I'm I'm sorry there isn't slightly more uni for you to watch for the time being, but we'll uh, we'll be back probably soon. Oh yeah, uh, I was supposed to play him in uh, DFCI at Cabo Breaker. Oh, and I got a buy because he wasn't there, and I was like, he would have bodied me uh, for sure. I, I you know I think there's some joke about that guy ducking stuff. Yo, Samaria, or uh, that's uh, that's me. I don't know why. I'm having a moment. Oh my god. Yeah, Matchstick is losing it over there. I deserve that. <laughs> Whatever. I, I ran a tournament. You know, I, I ran Soul Calibur. I've been running. I haven't really been running around. It hasn't been that busy. We we have. Oh, were staff. you really? Oh, geez. I guess he had um, hangers with tournaments. You you know this is so rude of you, Tiggy. You beat him so badly you just forgot about him entirely. You believe this? Unbelievable. I didn't know. I thought he People just wasn't able to show up. But yeah, he must have just been in another tournament. Because it was a side tournament. There we are. <laughs> we, got you, we got the Jishichi emote in chat. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, Jishichi pensive. I love it. Sorry? Jishichi, well, he likes the pink color. Um, yeah, that's what the... the that's uh, that's Jishichi's Twitch channel emote. Is, uh, he's got the, the pensive pensive thing. Shoutouts to being pensive in the uni community. <laughs> Tiggy's dying. Oh. Tiggy, give me your best pensive face right now. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> no, just like be be thinking really sad about something. Oh. What, what What's the face that you adopt when you're like sad and you're thinking about how, how messed up the world is? Just like... That's pretty good. Probably that. That's pretty good. I like that. I like that. Drifter Dane, what's up? How's it going, dude? What's up, Dane? Feel when I'm not subbed to you. Oh. Bow, bow. Oh, uh, I didn't know Jishichi has the has the happy Akatsuki too. Good stuff. This is Matchstick. Hello. Oh no, he's gone. Now chat's over here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, how to I, I had the. It's like looking at a mirror. It doesn't make. It, see, this is the thing. It's not like looking at a mirror. You look in a mirror, you expect yourself to be pointing in the opposite direction. That's not the case here. 
This is the revolutionary streaming tech that we have in 2019. Mix up. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I, I guess it's just as well, because as far as I know, we don't run any games that you main, uh, which is to say Rev and nothing else. Yeah, we, we did play we R. did play Plus R, though, yeah. Um, did you get the chance to tune into that at all, Dan? I don't know. Did we run Plus R at all? Is it still running? Yeah, we are. We continue to be due to do plus R. I don't know. I was hoping yeah, we were playing I, matches. I, I, I don't know. Ah, oh, we're frozen again. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Matchstick is not happy, understandably. Matchstick has been out here doing, like, fixing streaming issues all day. And uh, you know what? He deserves so much more credit than he is getting right now. Even though literally no one said anything bad about Matchstick, to my knowledge. But he, like, <laughs> he just stop saying bad things. He's really good. Do, do I know what I know what Grippos are? Yeah, I know what Grippos are. They're um, shoot. Uh, no, no. I'm thinking of um, I'm thinking of I think Zaps potato chips. Yeah. What are Grippos? Why don't you Why don't you just tell me? Exert Biken picture for the Plus R tournament. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Exert's uh, or excuse me, uh, Accent Core's Biken portrait is is really good too. Which is a bummer. Bow bow. Oh my god, they're actually going to play. Oh my okay. god. Okay, so you see Sonic Spear. All right. All right. <laughs> so uh, so so we're we're getting word that Sonic Spear beat Miller in Vampire Savior and now is going to have to try again in Uni to beat him up. These two, I don't know how often they played I'm not in too sure. Uni, at least recently. Oh my god, Jew was right. Oh, am I being made fun of? Yeah, I'm probably being made fun of. That's okay. So, um I think people actually used to buy uh, Grippo's powder because there's so much powder in the bottom of those bags. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Is it good? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Grippo's right. are really good. <laughs> I can't wait to find out from Jishichi later what uh, eye that guy is referencing. Thank you for giving me some uh, possibly incriminating evidence. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> I probably won't be fast on this today. It's, it's going to be hard. I'm going to have to come to Jishishi later, and I'm going to have to say, that guy is bullying me because I didn't know what Grippos are. <laughs> it is okay. I'm going to have to humble myself once again before the top players. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, Miller on the one piece side and Sonic Spear on the two piece side. Picking the song, what's the pick here? This is this determines the whole tenor of the match. It's looking like Sound of Nightwind. Yeah, Good Sound choice. of Nightwind. Not a bad choice at all. Does it bring me some grippos when you're charging me? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. I thought I was being grasped, but that's, that's fine. Um, well, you know what, that guy? I, you're, uh, you're coming to Evo, right? Uh, oh, yeah, you are. We were discussing that. Um, you know what? I can probably I can probably find some grippos. I can get you. I can probably just do them at cost. I don't, I don't care. I'm not trying to run a grift here. You know who's trying to run a grift is Sonic Spear with this amazing pressure. Do you like that segue? Yes. Okay. Thank that you. was very good. I was waiting for it. <laughs> We're fighting back though. Yep. Good uh, side switch there. Speed knockdown. So, oh my oh. God! Catches him with the fade back uh, Guga. Meaties. Eight dollars for two bags. Uh, I that guy. I don't know if that's at cost or not. Um, you're gonna have to tell me, and then I'm gonna have to check you. Oh my God! Run up DP. That can't. That had to have been like run up Kuga, right? I think what he wanted to do is hit him out of the air, but he had already landed at that point. Boy, I think that's uh, what happened. That's, that's, a, that's a risky yeah. move, but uh, Sonic Spear able to capitalize on it. Wins it just a sliver of health here. Right, uh, neither player <laughs> do that. Oh my god. That, uh, that <laughs> I was just trying to come with you, man. It's zipping around. I think that's what we call footsies. I think that's footsies. <laughs> footsies! Ah! Oh, okay, jumps out. But uh, doesn't get a punish here. Sonic Spirit not punished for his stuff. Yeah, super unfortunate. Okay, uh, I like the bail off there. Sonic Spirit totally happy to just stand here and block. It's not. Ooh, okay. 
Yeah, Sonic Spear's defense is really good. Sonic Spear known for frustrating me with my total inability to open him up. Oh. Almost as frustrated as I get with you, Tiggy. I'm sorry. Look at you, the blocking ass motherfucker over here. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, but Sonic Spear doing a lot of blocking here. Totally happy to block all the stagger pressure from Miller. Breaks the throw. Yeah, you can't throw Sonic Spear. Wow. Oh, uh, I don't know. Did, was he crossed up for just a moment there? I, 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 so. I guess he had to be, right? Because he hit with 3B against the uh, Airborne Lenny. She might have been facing the other way when that happened. I'm not sure. But I think that's what happened. Okay, nice 5A there. Should be the round. Should be the round. Yeah. All right, Miller. Uh, Miller running back here. I that guy real quick. Um, DM me on Twitter and for the love of God, don't tell Jushichi I'm doing this. Uh, we need to. We need to spring it on him. I need to. I need to prove to him that I know what Gribbles are because you told me what Gribbles are. Ooh, wow, that was a really good die kick over the dash team. A lot of characters actually can't do with that move very well. Miller is ready for it. That's very impressive. Totally ready. All right, what's the uh, what's the setup here? Sonic Spear just pressing some two A's. Okay, so that uh, the the fucking spin move, Mega Chan Tornado, that I believe is only minus five. Um, Miller can mash it, but the the mix up there where Sonic or, uh, Sonic Spear uh, goes for the up tornado and then uh, just goes into super to be a plus is so scary. You just don't want to get hit by it. So when Sonic Spear has meter like that, um, Miller is pretty happy to just let Sonic Spear continue to force his turn. Oh my god! <laughs> the command oh, grab wow. doesn't get anything off of it, just some corner carry. Oh, wow, it's only minus two? Minus two, wow, dang. That's, uh, that's really good. Hi Murphy, what's up? Make his shield get thrown. Fail off. Good block. That was actually a really good option to jump against that. Nice yeah, that was very unfortunate. Yeah. Smash. Sonic Spear able to take it. So that's a 1-0 to Sonic Spear. This is the loser's semi, so we are still in two out of three. Miller has to win two in a row. Shorties are weak. Oh, you what? They're both short. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. Let's let's take a look real quick. They're both standing up straight. Oh man, Mika's got like two inches on her. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's really funny. I, I you know I wonder how often Mika gets to say that. Do you think Mika like walks up to fucking like grade schoolers and is like, look at you, you're so you're so short, you're so dumb. That'd be very rude. Well, yeah. What if Mika's just like an incredibly rude person? That like, combo would have been hilarious. Oh my god, catches him with the, uh, with the slide there. Is that slide six is B. I think so. Oh my god, slide, what a good move. It's so good. I hate it. Alright, uh, random stagger pressure. Backs out or whatever Miller was doing. Ooh, catches catch the wow. shield. Alright, what's the setup? Yeah, he just goes uh, late jump A. Okay, spend some Oh my god, nice. what a chase! Wow. Oh my god! Incredible. Oh, baby, what a play from Sonic Spear to put the round away. I hope Miller is reeling back in his chair right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was, that was good. Okay, good pickup. I'm not over that reaction. Holy no, shit. It's crazy. Oh, man. But uh, Miller not letting it rattle him, you know, working on a perfect here. Sonic Spear has about half of his life left. Uh, oh, the perfect spawn. Well, now Miller's going to lose. I feel like that uh, counter match from uh, Sonic Spear was a bit risky there, but it worked out for him. Yeah, I uh, I would defer to Sonic Spear on that. I just, I, I'm not good enough at the game to challenge Sonic Spear on uh, this match. That's a lie. I think Sonic Spear can it. Right. It's just that I think that Miller could have gone for a stagger off of the delayed 5 Yeah, there, but it, like I said, it worked out. You wonder what uh, what Sonic Spear had him pegged on. He went for it. Oh, big whiff punish from Miller there. Good stuff. Goichi, yeah, uh, yes, yes, Red Blade. Goichi is here. <laughs> Hi, <of> Red course. Blade. <laughs> Goichi is actually at every turn in Sonic Spear. So. That's, that's why his name is Goichi, because he goes to tournaments. <laughs> All right, uh, just random stagger pressure here. Uh, neither player with a clear advantage. Uh, Sonic Spear getting worked into the corner, but not proven to be an issue. Oh my god, finally opens him up. That may have been exactly the match you were talking about, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Look at Tiggy knowing stuff. 
I've been on the receiving end many times. <laughs> yeah, Miller uh, Miller travels down for Columbus stuff with some regularity. So yeah. he's one of the he's, he's one of the Michigan players that we get to have the most experience against. I've seen everybody block the Nick and Missile which ways from the super every time today. You know, I it's impressive. I get hit by it so many times, so props to everybody that's like that today. Alright, uh, Miller with just a couple hits to go. No ACS, that puts it away. Alright, so it's 1-1. One, one. Miller versus Sonic Spear. Again, this is this is uh, loser's semis. So whoever wins the next one advances to loser's finals against uh, White Peas. Yes. Okay, good footsies here to start. God, Lina is just so fast, right? Those dash up 5 A's, so scary. There very well could be uh, Murphy. I'm not 100% sure. What I try to do against it is uh, what Sonic 3 told me to do as an option is a uh, veil off. But I don't know. You can, um, he can just fly away from it and you feel dumb. <laughs> Jump shield, okay. Yep. This is going to be about 3.2. What? Oh, okay. Baits out the counter. Good stuff from Sonic Spear. Good patience waiting for the uh, follow-up as well. It's looking really pretty right now. Oh, wow. that gets everybody. Nobody ever blocks that. It's admitted and nobody ever blocks it. Yeah, um, I think it was uh, back that there. Ooh, this uh, I don't think it's going to kill. Nope. No, uh, so Sonic Spear has to get one more hit, but this is an unfortunate situation for Miller. He's going to have to really run it back, and he's not able to do so. Sonic Spear with an excellent run-up uh, shield throw. So that uh, Nika Chan missile done meaty is actually plus. I don't remember how much exactly, but it's plus. You had you to hold it. And it leads to, as you saw, an amazing combo if uh, you just like get hit by it real loose. Oh my Ooh, god, wow. what an unfortunate shield for Miller. That's, that puts him way behind. Miller. Mm. Wow, yeah, he, he's special. Uh, uh, I think this will kill. Oh, yeah, totally. I believe. Yeah, yeah it goes. that's it. Sonic Spear closing it out with a perfect good stuff to Miller. Uh, uh, so, Miller unfortunately losing to Sonic Spear in two games today. That, uh, that can't feel good. So. Yeah. Well, as always, next time. So that's how it be. Yeah, Sonic Spear is a monster. Yeah. Uh, nobody, nobody has ever accused Sonic Spear of being bad at fighting games. Oh no. He's only, as long as I've known him, and I've known him for years, he's only improved. Mm -hmm. He's only improved. All right, so he's coming up against White Beast here, who has also improved a lot. Yes. I know there was some, there was some talk about this around like last year's CEO Taku, and he's only gotten better since. Is that White Beast? White Beast has just gotten to where he is in this game so fast compared to what a lot of players are able to do. Oh yeah. It's really impressive watching him. I love his Batista. Um, I think compared to Foxov, who is another top Batista player, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, gosh, White Beast's pressure is not quite as uh, technically intense, but he's got just such a good game sense and such good neutral. It's a joy to watch him play this oh, character. Yeah. Yeah. Quality content, I agree. I don't know. I don't know what that was in reference to, I, that guy. But I agree that we are quality content. I'm just gonna assume you were talking about my sultry voice. <laughs> Looking at it now, it might be the Decidueye emo here. That's Decidueye, right? I think that's Decidueye. I have no idea. And if yep. it was, I wouldn't be able to tell. I've seen that Pokemon only a handful of times. Where's Sonic Fox? Um, so Sonic Fox is also sitting in winners. Uh, <laughs> winners finals is, is Goichi versus Sonic Fox. Um, and then the winner of that fights uh, Red Blade, weirdly enough. Uh, chat's gone. We can't interact uh, with Actually, you I'm going to put chat up on my phone. Uh, OK, OK. I like it. I've got plenty of batteries. Would you be willing to just display that in the center for us? Yes. Too? Yeah, cool. Because I actually wanted to. Uh... Oh, we're still, we're still frozen. There we are. Oh man, look at this. This is a great freeze frame. You're like, I don't know, man. Why would you do that there? What the <laughs> fuck is still Marion talking about right now? Yeah, I actually wanted to tell Red Blade that um, I actually am a very impressed with his gameplay, and I think it's awesome. I, wanted to, I just wanted to say that. That's so wholesome. All right, so White Beast with some early pressure here. Sonic's very totally happy to just have uh, block it out. Probably. Trying to wait here and just win the Vorpal Cycle. This is that oh my gosh, but White Beast catches it with the uh, neutral jump, jump C. 
wins the cycle, and this is, uh, yeah, okay. So now Sonic Spear is trying to control the ground, and White Beast realizing that Sonic Spear isn't quite sure how to defend against him yet, just going for the uh, jump over assault here. Oh my gosh! Alright, we'll see what Sonic Spear goes for. White Beast chooses to just neutral tech. I, I, I don't fault him. Sonic Spear with a huge hill to climb here. Yeah, just uh, can't quite can't quite get it. Alright, we'll see if he is able to stay in a little bit better next time. Oh my gosh, the 6-6-B pickup? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, just doesn't do anything. Catches the shield. Wow, you, you should know he was looking for that. Okay, uh, Sonic Spear blocks the overhead. Good stuff. God, waits it out, looking for maybe a DP or something. Got yeah, kind of lucky on that uh, orb job. Kind of crazy. So White Beast is going for a couple of assaults there. Probably trying to catch shield. It's really, really hard to open Sonic Spear up with um, with assaults on his shield. He's just like that's very rarely the option select he's going for. And Sonic Spear's like default is just to sit there. Like he's he's totally happy to not OSU if he thinks he's got a better chance. To yeah, Shishi told me before that he thinks Sonic Spear's intuitiveness defensively is really strong, and it shows. Yeah. I'm hard-pressed to think of anyone I think is, like, strictly better at defending uh, out of the people that I that I play with regularly. That's what happens when you play Vampire. You're, oh, yeah. <laughs> you're forged in the fires of a much faster game. <laughs> but uh, White Beast taking that game very convincingly. Um, so, <laughs> strictly speaking, Mika is in right now, but has to get through these awful snides. Wow, that was an amazing run through the 5C. Uh, didn't quite get anything off of it. Decent. Oh my god, he gets the flash kick. This is going to be about 3K. Uh, I like the side switch there. Yeah, very cute. All right, uh, happy to just leave him there. Not a great frame advantage situation, but the closest thing that Sonic Spear can really get to a knockdown off of that combo route. And White Beast is actually going to have to be really careful with his um, jumping around mid-range. Because Sonic Spear is very good at uh, dashing in and doing tornadoes to catch people. Okay, uh, just blocks it out. Good shield on that. Wasn't quite the right timing. Oh, wow. oh yeah, Mickey Chan Tornado, baby. Let's go. Do the spin. That's that how you play this. So game. far, so fast. That's crazy. Okay, uh, fortunate shield from Sonic Spear, but he's still... Yeah, just happy to wait it out here. He's, oh, that puts him in a great position to win the cycle. We'll see if White Beast spends any shields. Wow, spends an unfortunate green shield. And a timely shield from Sonic Spear to take the next cycle. Wow, he got hit. Ooh, unfortunate. Maybe he was going for a DP there. Definitely had the meter to it. Yeah. I'm more surprised that he got thrown before that. <laughs> All right, well, the game is over, unfortunately. Yeah. That's how it goes. Sonic Spear really struggling to find his footing in this matchup, you know? Um, I think White Beast is an excellent zoning player, and clearly just giving Sonic Spear no quarter whatsoever. Oh my gosh, the Mickey Chan Tornadoes, though. Wow. That's weird. Why do you think White Beast fell out of that combo? I don't know. Because the funny thing is that the Tissus actually has a pretty fat hurt box. Oh my gosh, full so player spawn If anything, she would have been one of the last characters to call it. I'm not sure. I wonder if maybe it was just poor routing, poor timing, something like that. Oh my gosh, yeah, gets hit by the overhead. Wow, first he time. Dice. Wow. Crazy. I wonder if both players are having some nerves right now. Alright, so Sonic Spear missing his dash block timing, so White Beast miss, uh, mixing him up quite nicely. And 40 seconds on wow. the clock, that's plenty of time. Wow, a super late whiff. Got it that time. Then you missed the rest of the combo. Yep, just five Cs. White Beast going up 2 0 in the set. Those were long games, but White Beast hasn't dropped a round here. Yeah. White Beast just taking a, taking a drink. Sonic Spear may be thinking about it. We'll see if he uh, goes back in. Yeah. Just go right back into it. We have a couple players in Columbus who are really uh, keen on going back to like character selects after things to think about things. Especially uh, Drifter Dane. Shout out to Drifter Dane if you're still in the chat. Um, Jishiji as well is known for doing that. Sonic Spear happy to just go back in. Flying wow. Blood Slam. Okay. 
can't quite react to the situation. It's so unfortunate that Mika can't knock you down um, mid-screen there. Uh, so Sonic Spear was forced into a situation where he had to like back off and try to react to the attack and wasn't quite able to do it. And now you see White Beast taking his uh, turn here. Oh, drops out of the combo again. That's the same place he dropped that before. I wonder if White Beast is having trouble with Mika's hurtbox. Um, I'm not sure. That should work just fine again. Oh, Another finds death Mika Chan Tornado. Yeah, he's rough. Sonic Fear with enough meter to do it again. Spends it on command grab. Well, this is going to be about 4K, I think. Yeah, super dead. This is minimal 5K. It's rough. Yeah, 4K to combo wasn't even dead. Uh, Drifter, you're being shouted out for going back to character select when you lose a when you lose game. So, congratulations. Okay, uh, drops the combo. Uh, scary Stein Crusher here. Wow, some unfortunate green shields from Sonic Spear leave him in a bad position to win the cycle. But uh, get the combo. We'll see what the situation is. Will we be able to react to tech? Oh, a really, really unfortunate Pikachu Chan Tornado. <laughs> Everybody's spinning. Oh, man. That's the worst. All right, scary pressure. Uh, but Sonic Spear wins the cycle. Wow, goes wow. over the 2C with the butt slam. So good. That move's also air blocking. Not that it really matters. <laughs> Ooh, opens him up to 5B. Sonic Spear is really good right now. He is trying to win this round. Nice. Heads low. Up. Two lows in a row. Sonic Spear on the board. Refusing to go quietly. I think the true tech is having the water bottle with water in it. Yeah, shout out to the water. <laughs> hey, if you're watching the stream and you haven't uh, had any water in the past like couple hours, go, go get some water real quick. I should oh. do that, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm also thirsty. <laughs> it's very hot in this basement. We technically have air conditioning, but it's just a it's just a hot day to be underground with a bunch of people. All right, a really placid round opener here. Batista coming out on top of the grid board, but not for long. Wow. Oh my gosh, Sonic Spear gets the timely assault and just, yeah, drops the combo, waits it out to win the grid cycle. I like that a lot. I like the jump back OS there, good stuff. for an opportunity to use Grid to force this turn. Wins the next cycle as well. White Beast with uh, basically nothing on the board here. Just a little bit of chip damage. Sonic Spear being so patient. 55 seconds left on the clock. People have lost basically no life. And Sonic Spear has just won three Grid cycles. Yeah, this is nuts. This is a really, really smart, patient play. Oh, finds it with the 6-6-P, finally. That's being an XD. XD's in the chat. <laughs> All right, wins the nice next grid cycle as well, but uh, White Beast finally finds an opening. We'll see if he can uh, win this grid cycle or... Oh, nice. nice. Oh my god, are you kidding me? The test of privilege out here. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't matter. Sonic Spear uh, with a big life lead with just 10 seconds left on the clock. White Beast is going to have to open him up again here in short order. And oh my gosh, Ori's just going to go right into it. That's going to be enough damage, but there's still six seconds left. Yep, Sonic Spear could make this happen. Gonna try. Oh my gosh! Wow, I wonder if uh, Sonic Spear missed the final direction on there. He had one more charge. Yeah. Probably could have forced his turn, maybe done a little bit of chip damage. But it wasn't enough. White Beast takes it at the last second, despite that, that round looking like it was in Sonic Spear's control basically the whole time. Yeah, that's a really impressive medal from White Beast there. Okay, so now the uh, fragmental eruptions are working out for White Beast. Not that time. Yeah. <laughs> right doesn't say that. The, uh, the grounded Stein, I think, is much better for dealing with Pikachu and Tornado. And we keep seeing White Beast going for Air Steins to control, like, floor space vertically. And I think maybe White Beast needs to reevaluate that strategy. I believe that throw, the command throw that Sonic Spear landed was a counter. I think it's just a flash right behind it. <gasps> wow. Oh, baby. Doesn't have Corporal, though, so nope, they can't just, catch uh, Just a cool 2300. Nothing to stop that. Sonic Spear maybe looking for another tornado, finds it! Oh, the okay, late that's cross the first, up. First time I've seen that hit today. <laughs> Sonic Spear still playing for his life here, has a round here to win. Not a lot of meter on the board, but has been doing a good job closing the gap even without it, so we'll see if we can keep that up. Yeah, see, now, now White Beast is placing the ground steins, and Sonic Spear is smartly just waiting now. Nice, that shield break is going to give Sonic Spear, that, uh, excuse me, throw break is going to give Sonic Spear the cycle. Let's see what he does with it. 
gets opened up is what he does with it. That's, That's nice. how it goes sometimes. Really good damage from a tip though. All right, big TP gets through the Stein that time. And White Beast wins the cycle, but not by much. Uh, doing a lot of backdashing here. That's not a positive thing to do if you want to win the cycle again. But Sonic Spear is going to be out again. Oh my god, goes through wow. the projectile. Oh yeah. Stuff. Easily. That was actually one of Mika's buffs in a new version. Oh, well, really? Uh, when it, when um, it came to The consoles. one before the arcade. Oh my gosh, Sonic Spear is yeah. one hit away from death. And it, it, at this point, it needs to be any hit at all. 2A wow. kill, and the Stein explosion does. White Beast earning his run back against Jushiji in Grand Finals. So yeah, um, what used to happen with Mika, she couldn't deal with up back fireballs. So characters like Photon and Vitissa just ran over her because of that. Oof. So one of the changes they gave Mika, her uh, Mika Chance Tornado follow-up goes actually beats projectiles. Wow, given how unfortunate Mika is tier list-wise in this game, not that she's unviable, but given that she's at the bottom half, you hate to hear that kind of stuff and just think, boy, she was completely unplayable Yeah, before. it was even yeah. worse before. Yeah. Yeah. The Sonic Spear, I still I think he still played good despite... God, I love yeah. this. I love this still. I, I, You know what? Actually, I'm going to vote that we just keep this. <laughs> I feel like this is a really good expression of the commentary that's going on right now. Tiggy just rolling his eyes at me the whole time. Look at this idiot. He doesn't know about a. Uh, he doesn't know about a. Uh, Miller's gap pressure. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, it's fine. All right, we got the chat back up. Uh, shout outs to chat. Let me see some poggers. I don't know. Is that what they say? I, I, I think so. I think that's what they say. I don't know. I don't know. Shout outs to chat. I agree. <laughs> I don't know what we're waiting on right now. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, Matchstick just leaned over and said something to us. Oh, it's, well, yeah, it's Grand Finals. We don't know where. Uh, okay, so I just saw White Beast walking back from the bathroom. So take take bio breaks. You know, you want to get water, but you also want to take water or uh, leave water. <laughs> okay, now I see Jushi walking from the restroom. So it'll be a second. Let me get this underway. Alex with the water bottle tech. I'm gonna get some coffee after this. I'm gonna get some water. Heck yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> I am pretty thirsty. Let's commentate White Beast's expressions right now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. All right, so he's he's thinking real hard, you know? He's thinking back on that winner's finals match, and he's thinking, man, what happened? <laughs> I got 3 1. I can't have that happen again. <laughs> if you were in White Beast's situation, what would what would that what would that thinking face be about? What you said, like, how can I play better than I did the last time I played against Tsuchiji. How can I play better? What can I do differently? It's going to be a real challenge. It is. These gaming chairs that we have up on stage, I don't know if you've had the chance today to sit in them. They're quite comfortable. Not. They're quite comfortable. I actually, I don't know if it's that model, but I have a gaming chair that my brother actually got me for my birthday. Mm. Yeah, that, that screen's not going away. No, it's just there. Unfortunately. That's, that's fine. Honestly, that's fine. <laughs> um, so our TO... The Keist got us these um, these T-shirts. The, you can you can see it in the still if and when it comes back. But Matchstick is resetting it right now, so it'll be just a second. Um, but the, we have the this this logo for the tournament. And Q Cocktail or excuse me, Cocktail Game Move this time is about uh, red versus blue, but it's Carmine versus Ultramarine, which happens to line up very well with Coffee Underground. It's the same abbreviation. Um, so we have uh, an even number of TOs on each side, and we're tabulating who everybody was asked to, uh, to pick a side when they signed up for brackets today. So we're tabulating who's winning everything, and the, I don't know, the, the winning side gets bragging rights. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think it was going to end up being anything really important. It's just mm -hmm. something fun to do. No, it's, it's just for fun. You got you to gotta spice these things up. Oh, yeah. We're talking about what we're going to do for the next cocktail, and... The keyst is, is speculating that it'll be some kind of music. Okay. I don't know. I don't know exactly how that's going to be incorporated into the material. Or anything like that. Okay. That's That'd be neat. All right, we got grand finals here. Uh, White Beast on the one piece side and Jishishi on the two piece side. Yeah, we'll see if White Beast can make any adaptations from his winner set. Out the way, snow oh yeah, great trap. If you're in the chat, I, I just want you to know that if you don't like so, so snow sisters, you, you can just um, you can just get the heck out of here, okay? <laughs> you can just skedaddle. I don't even care. 
Oh, that was a really, wow. really good sequence from Jishishi. Uh, to get in there, blanking the laser with his own fireball, runs in and gets a huge whip punish. And that's a lot of momentum to uh, Jishishi here. So, Jishishi got the Eitatsu there, but White Beast can't be counter hit because he's playing the Tizzle, so didn't get anything off of it. Oh, okay. Flash, kick. flash kicks out. Good wild flash kick. I love it. Okay, that's going to be a DP. And White Beast now in an extremely unfortunate situation. Uh, match trick, just FYI, there are two U's in Jishiji's name. Y'all hoodie. Oh my god, what a trade. Oh my god. Some bad shields here. Yeah, I believe his name is just 17. 17, yes, exactly. It's funny because he's not 17. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, able to actually get the arrow block. Yeah, that, was, first. that was an excellent uh, situ situation. Recognition from um, White Beast there. Gets the wow, whoa, 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 what whoa, happened whoa, whoa, whoa. there? Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. And uh, Jishishi with the air Tatsu tech to get a meterless conversion. 3.4k. <gasps> wow. Wow, what an interaction. Jishishi way down after that, and that's no. I don't think I ever seen him shield like that. Yeah. He must, he, was, he must have been really confident. What was he baiting out there, do you think? Maybe 2C? Probably just like a, a like 2C, 2A, some kind of normal. Sure. Maybe shield 2A, get the frame advantage, counter match. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also the round. Oh, so we are in the third round. <laughs> nice fight dash against Tatsu, but it doesn't really get him. Didn't get a hit though. White Beast gets his first hit of the uh, set, working his way out of the corner. Good patience. Nice. Gets him with the overhead. Hasn't been using those. Has been very, very conservative, saving them for the right moment. There we go. Is the that the one frame? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's really hard to do, aside from the fact that it's one frame. You also have to account for negative edge. Oh my gosh. It's rough. He's really good at doing that. Another player I've seen recently that's good at doing that is Erico. Shout out to Erico. Amazing execution. So, Shishi has one chance. He's now literally on a paper. Any hit will any hit will do it. Shishi has one health. And uh, wasn't quite able to do it. Positive trade for White Beast, who goes up 1-0 in this first set of grand finals. Oh, they're talking about something. <laughs> Somebody's, somebody's snarling at us. Can you believe that? He's, now he's directly in my face. Matchstick, switch, change the camera real quick. This is awful. He's, he, I, I can't look at him. I, I refuse to look at him. It's like, it's like, um, it's like you're not supposed to make eye contact with like angry dogs. Okay, match, okay. He is not moving. We gotta, there's a whole story that I have to ignore because I have to commentate. I'll see you later, man. Oh, maybe. Let's go back into the match here. Let's, let's, wow. let's stop being goons. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure why uh, Jishishi got hit after that chain shift. He could have uh, force function, but. So Jishishi having a hard time finding his way in. Um, gonna give up a cycle again to White Beast. Some, that, was, that was maybe not quite the right time to apply pressure, but you know, it's so hard to, it's so hard to know what gambles to make at the end of one of those cycles, right? Yeah. Like, he could have stopped attacking there and then, like, got hit. Okay, good shields. Oh, got it. A, a, a fortunate jab uh, hit for Jishishi, gives him the cycle. Able to use it to win another exchange here. And we'll see if he's able to convert that into another cycle. Wow, this this should be dead. I, I'm almost 100% sure Jishishi has a combo that does here. Oh, no, drops it. Yeah, he's going for awesome old damage, but yeah, he popped out. It's the hard stuff. That's that's what happens when you are a legitimate innovator for your character. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta take risks. Like that. Okay, forces the turn with a little meter. Doesn't get anything off of it. They're just back, back to staring at each other from round start length. Gosh, Scary Staggers, wow, finds the one green shield. White Beast hadn't shielded at all, and she got him the one time he tried. That's incredible. Big second overhead. This was one. Oh my god, that was such a scary shield. Could have done it again. <gasps> oh, what an wow. unfortunate flash kick. And that's not quite the round. She, she drops it again. One opportunity here. 45 seconds left on the clock to see if that's long enough. He needs a quick opening. He doesn't get him. 
that ADP there was so smart. She usually loves throwing that out when he thinks that uh, players are just going to go for like kind of bad meaties. It's it loses free to 2A, but when you've trained people off of 2A pressure, when you've shown them that they're not going to get anything off of doing 2A and that you have to commit to fancier Oki, that opens up Jushiji's wake up situations a lot. Oh yeah. All right, ooh, Jushiji uh, fully back in the praying while thinking goes. Both players here actually thinking really hard. I actually thought the camera froze. No. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I've actually thought it froze. But yeah, they're they're taking it very seriously. Stone stoic here. Oh yeah. Thinking about it. One one. This is a this is a crucial break point in the set. Whoever wins this is gonna have a lot of tempo. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Uh, uh, excellent presence of mind by White Beast changing the wake up timing there at the last or the uh, landing timing there at the last second. Nice throw break. Nice parry. Turning the situation around. Shishiji forcing White Beast into the corner. Good shield. I'm sorry, does, does Batista say one pattern when you uh, when she shields? I think she does. Like, you're predictable. I'm oh. not actually sure. I have to kind of listen to it. Big shield break. I'm pretty sure that White Beast is still going to win the cycle here no matter what because of that break. Good throw. Wow. Nice throws, wins another cycle here. This is a big opportunity for White Beast. He's gonna have to convert this. Okay, backs off. Um, and now Jushiji happy to just sit back, shield stuff, try and win the cycle himself. We'll see if White Beast just spends. Yeah, to win this. I like uh, triggering the Stein there just to try and, and, and ward Jushiji off the rest of the game. Wow, you wonder what got countered there. A late ant here to be sure. Maybe 5C. Very unfortunate though, I can tell you that. Man. Dead plus. Shishi blocks the cross good stuff. Nice parry. Wow. That, I wonder if he could have gone for super there and close it out. Feels like he doesn't need to. He only takes out of the box, but spends all of his meter anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah, all right. Jushichi with the round one win. If he was just shy of 200 meter if you were talking about infinite war. Yeah, he didn't need it. Like oh, he said. doesn't quite get the confirm. That's what that doesn't need to see. White Beast having a problem, like, just across the set with, um, like, gaining tempo. It's hot. Yeah. Is, would you say that Contesta is a character who, like, just systematically has a hard time with uh, situations where she's behind? Oh, yeah. Is she? Low time is one thing where you have to catch up because she's not very fast. Uh, yeah, sure. But just defensively... Yes, she has the four frame flash kick, but players are going to be looking out for that. Well, it's, it's not like, easy to win. Like when you're when you're in a situation where you have a massive light lead, you're pretty happy to just sit at full screen against Batista. Batista wants to just like laser you and, and fireball you. You're happy to just sit there. Yeah, she has to do something. Like that, and it's not easy. Ooh, okay. Well, uh, White Beast not having that problem here. Oh, big green shield. Jushiji so good at recognizing those situations and baiting them off Tatsu. And oh, oh no! The flash kick there. White Beast blinked and Jushiji said no. So, White Beast actually could have done a guard thrust there. So, if people don't know, if you're in, stuck in a green shield animation like that, if you have at least 100 meter or, or verbal, you can actually do 214D and do. Do a guard thrust. Yep, you'll get grid broken, but it will save you the trouble of uh, eating like a eating like a full combo there. Yeah. You're eating a full throw, bunch of damage, two thousand damage. You don't want that, right? Yeah, that was a disadvantage situation, no matter how you look at it. But he did have that option. Friends don't let friends eat two thousand damage. <laughs> it is strictly speaking like kind of a mix because Jushishi can choose to just like run up and block it, and then mm -hmm. get get what like four K basically. Yeah. Um, but. You gotta take those chances, you, right. especially considering how late you can um, grid thrust. Like, you can wait until they're right next to you. Right. Well, this is potentially the last game of the tournament. Ooh, going to my least favorite stage, though. Bad, bad metagame picture. You know, people. They're playing it out. I know players don't like to play on this stage. The white piece actually uh, getting over fireball with assault. The main answer for dealing with that. But if Mikoski has any resources, you have to kind of just hold that. Yep. Big, uh, big green shields that White Beast is getting out here. Press the mid screen here. So there we are, begging for uh, pizza here. Yeah. <laughs> we, we got T.O. Pizza uh, now, and I'm, I'm, the boy is hungry. It's, it's dinner time. Nice pickup. Very nice pickup. 
Alright, this is gonna be knockdown. What's the situation? Yeah, just she, oh my god, what a throw! Maybe even just anticipated a throw break, but totally happy to take that uh, situation. Hello, Jettos. Hello, Jad. How's it going? Ooh, okay, this is the situation. I love the email that uh, Matchstick has of you, by the way. Excellent. Yeah, it's super good. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to Jad Busby. Good guy. Very good commentator. Also a pretty good TO. <gasps> wow, wow, yeah, finds the super through. This is a huge opportunity for Shishi to close the gap here. Just really needs one opportunity to Shishi pressure. Nice. So scary, but White Beast finds the perfect window and pressure. Very nice reaction right there. All right, we'll see if White Beast can uh, make, this, make this happen. Oh, right, shield. great shield from Shishishi on the jump A. I wish you could be here with this, buddy. All right. So, ooh, good offensive grid thrust. Force White Beast back into the corner. That's nice. He actually got to keep it. So, uh, wow, Akatsuki Shishishi uh, working on a pressure here. Or working on a perfect. What am I talking about? He's working on a perfect with his pressure. He's having, he's having some moments. I blame. I him. hate that move so much. It's so rough in a situation. What are you gonna do with it? Block. Oh my gosh! This should be. Yep. Yes. Spending meter to close it out. I really respect that. Even when you have perfect close. Oh yeah. Out, easy. Meter. You you never wanna you never wanna make that decision to not spend the meter and then look like a fool. For you don't wanna work harder than you have. To. Exactly right. And so this is potentially a tournament point for GT. Yep. Big grid advantage here. Oh my god, the double jump to catch the air nonsense. Wow, amazing uh, metagame stuff from Jushishi. And now catching the mash with a huge advantage here in Grand Finals. Oh, this is rough. Okay, frame kill. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. One more, one more hit to throw, and that's it. White Beast, okay, this is an opportunity for, for White Beast, but backing off doesn't press Jushishi back into the corner, maybe scared of the defensive options. Okay, Jushishi breaks the throw. Doesn't quite punish him by this, but he size pressure. Jushishi and uh, Jushishi has CS here. Okay, good mash on that. Whoa, no, okay, uh, now what? Oh my god, breaks right back. It's the first one we've seen in the entire tournament. Nice, catches the, uh, catches the, catches the overhead there. Let me, the is uh, charge was really good. Oh my god, does it again. <gasps> oh no, so it. unfortunate. Some bad routing there. White be shaking his head. Jushishi wins uni at Cocteau Gameu 11. Very good, good showing from Jushin. Ah, at Ed Eriban, yeah, I have to say it like broken Japanese. Sorry, everybody. Um, yeah, no, uh, White Beast looking, laughing about it, looking a little bit sad. You know, it's got, he's got to be pretty torn up about that. Yeah, it's rough. But uh, good stuff to both competitors. Those were those were honestly very competitive games. Super fun to watch. Yes. I don't know about you. Yeah. I had a lot of fun watching. I learned some things. Hey, we're not frozen. We're Ooh. not frozen. All right, hello. Just so, time for the end. So that's the end of Uni. Um, we have what coming up next, Matchstick? Matchstick doesn't know. <laughs> we have another fighting game coming up. I don't know what it's. Uh, sorry, might be Street Fighter. Um, okay. So if you're if you're looking forward to some hot Street Fighter action, or if you just want to stick around and see if we're right or not, uh, please feel free to stick around here at twitchtv Melee. If you're enjoying the content, if you're enjoying the production values, uh, throw throw Matchstick a follow or a subscribe. We'd be happy to have you. Okay. And uh, thank you so much for listening to us commentate top eight here. I've been Silmarion, and I've been Tiki. Uh, thank you so much. Have a great night. Yes, thank you for having us.